Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the lamp in your tunable light source. This particular light source is our 250Q version, so there's a 250 watt quartz lamp inside this light source. Before you begin, it's very important that you follow safety procedures and you make sure both the power supply and the monochromator are unplugged and turned off. It's also important that you use the right safety equipment. So these are powder-free gloves because you never want to touch a lamp with your bare hands. It's also important to use safety glasses. This is the replacement lamp, the 250 watt quartz lamp. And I'm going to start by unscrewing these six thumb screws on the side compartment of the lamp housing to access the lamp. After the six thumb screws are removed, you can carefully remove the side panel of this lamp housing. So this is our 250 watts quartz lamp that's reached the end of its lifetime. We're going to remove it from the lamp housing. So very carefully pull it from the socket adapter. It should come out easily. We're going to set that aside and then we're going to get our new lamp. So this is our new lamp. You can see the socket adapter and here are the prongs of the lamp. It should gently slide in and be very careful not to bend the prongs or bend the lamp any more than necessary. It's just going to seat right inside the socket adapter like so. Now if you'll notice when I removed the side panel of the lamp housing, there was lamp horizontal and lamp vertical. So that refers to these two adjustment knobs because we're actually going to start alignment of the lamp now. What you want to achieve is this lamp in the center of this collimating lens assembly. And you're going to do it by eye. It doesn't have to be perfect now, but as better as you get it now will make lamp alignment easier when you start to ignite the lamp source. So we're just going to very carefully try to get that lamp right in the center of that socket, or I'm sorry, the collimating lens. Okay, and once you're done, you can fix the side panel of the lamp housing back on and replace those six thumb screws that were holding the side panel of the housing in place. Now that you've replaced your lamp, you're ready to turn on both your power supply and your monochromator. So we're going to turn on the power supply and the monochromator. Now for this video, I'll be controlling the monochromator using our handheld controller option. But for those that prefer remote PC control, there's also a USB 2.0 connector. And using our TrackQ software, you can control the monochromator using your laptop. So now that your power supply and your monochromator are turned on, you're ready to ignite the lamp. And it also helps to have a whiter black sheet of paper to serve as a backdrop a few inches away from the light source so you can see the output of the light source. And it also helps to set your monochromator to zero to achieve a white light output. So now we're going to adjust the focusing assembly. Using this, we're going to turn it to the left to uh, loosen it. This will allow the focusing assembly portion of the lens to move. And usually this is as close to the lamp housing as possible, but you're going to turn this knob and then observe on the backdrop. What you want is as clear of a filament image as possible. Now that you can see the filament clearly, we're going to center it onto the spot size output of the light source. So using these horizontal and vertical lamp adjustment knobs like we used before, we're just going to fix it. And again, just center that filament both horizontally and vertically into the spot size output of the light source. From 
Now we're gonna use the rear reflector adjustment knobs to focus the backscatter of the lamp. So you're gonna adjust these, and what you should see moving is the rear reflector image of the filament onto the backdrop as you adjust each knob. And what you want to do is you want to superimpose the reflection of the filament onto the primary image of the filament itself. So now that we have the filament and the reflected filament images superimposed onto your light output, we're going to defocus this. So again, using the focusing lens, we're going to unscrew this to the left, give us some room on the focusing lever. And as you defocus the filament, which you should see is a clear, uniform spot size light output. And again, this may take some adjusting as well, but adjust the lever until you get a uniform, perfect spot size on the output of your backdrop. And once you find that position, turn the knob to the right and fix the position of this focusing lens assembly. and you've just aligned your tunable light source.